Oh, Rob, um, it all starts this week, doesn't it? You just have to settle here. That home away season doesn't mean that much. But yeah, it's all sort of, this is when it all really starts, doesn't it? It does, Pat. Like, um, you know, we've had a good pre-season, a good year, but um, as I said to you on the weekend, um, it all starts now, the real season starts now. Um, we're coming up against a very good club in Redan, you know, season campaign is in the final series, and that's the, uh, the next stage our football club has to get to. And uh, we're going to have six o'clock to Saturday afternoon and we're travelling. And so what does it mean? You've been sort of getting close the last few years, but you probably haven't been in this position where you're really the favourite and everyone's sort of hunting, hunting you as a team and you want the team to be. Has it been any difference the last couple of years? Or? Look, I'll wait till we win a couple of finals games first before we start talking about favouritism, but um, you know, we went in pretty well last year to an and their experience showed up, their experienced players, their you know, season finals campaigns, as I mentioned before, played very well against in the last quarter. And as a club, we're that standard now, you know what I mean? So it's, it's all well and good fish on top of the ladder, but you know, getting the prize money for or any, any, you know, any advantage, so it's just really down what we can do from here on in the end of September, be hopefully the best uh, team in September, that's the key. And how are you shaping up injury-wise? I think you're pretty close to full strength, though. Yeah, we'll be yeah fairly close to full strength. Like 60 blokes on the track last night, which is amazing, you know. But uh, look, we'll be pretty good, to full, pretty close to full strength. We've all got niggles and over down. I've a couple of niggles here and there, but uh, blokes about about playing for teams. And I suppose most of the season it looked like you're going to be playing in summary in the first week of the finals, just the way the ladder was sort of shaping up. But all of a sudden, Dan sort of jumped in. Has that thrown any sort of spanner? Or is that the major reassess what you could do first week of finals? You ask it when you recall. I'm asking you. <laughs> um, no, it doesn't make no difference whatsoever. Um, anyway, but what we can control, um, you know, we've played with Andrew Neary, played the last couple of years, and you know, we'll just go in and all our focus this week's been on Redan Footy Club since 6 o'clock last Saturday. Yeah. And when you played earlier in the year, you really sort of, you're really on top of them. I think you might buy 10 or 12 goals. It was, it was a big game, a big margin anyway. Does yeah. That, does that mean anything? I'm oh, not really. That was a long time, <coughs> a couple of months ago. Um, a couple of Redan boys mentioned to us uh, after the game that uh, you know, they were a different team in finals, as did their president half time their lunch, and that um, we played Redan home and away, and they're definitely a different team come finals, which we know about. So it's, uh, that's, you know, that's done and dusted two months ago. We move on 50 50 as we start this weekend. It's a big, big game for us, and uh, you know, to take on one of the, the heavyweights and uh, you know, see where we're at, see how much we've improved from last season. Is there much pressure now that you are the favourites? No favourites, Paddy. It's 50 50. Scoreboards are even like. As I said, it's one and two, it doesn't matter how many, you know, I think one and a half games or two games in front of one of that makes no difference. Um, we're going to come in and win the weekend, simple as that. Alright, uh, with <coughs> regard to the, the additions to the side for 2013 as opposed to last year where your bad outs are in the final series, how important have they been in terms of giving you that added quality, which is that next le level of uh, attainment that you obviously need to go all the way? Yeah, whereas like uh, Mark Rex has been fantastic for us this year, uh, 33 years of age, this is, his leadership, his voice, is just another playing coach out in the ground, if you like. He's been fantastic for the young blokes. But it's also a young bloke with another 20 games in the belt. Now they're 40 or 50 games in their career. The experience of the last two finals campaign, like only a couple of boys have played five and six finals games now, you know, like I think Ash Babel or Barb has played in seven premierships or something, you know. So just our blokes had to get up to that level. Now they've got some games in the belt, six, seven finals now. Hopefully uh, their mark improvement as well as the Mark Greek coming the team is a big difference for us compared to last year. Mm -hmm. uh, Saturday's win, there are lots of things to take out of that, but uh, I thought your, your number of forward options clearly separated the two sides. You just seem to have so many different blokes that you could go to, which uh, is that something that you've worked on specifically? Uh, because your know, multi pronged attack was very dangerous. And that's something I identified you know, in this competition. It's very rare the leading goal kicker kicks 100, wins the flag, you know, so. The more options we got, the better, and we've really worked hard at throughout the season. Um, I mean, Derek, obviously, Derek Mickens has been a very good player for us, 55 goals for the season. But um, you know, we've got other boys to kick goals as well, and hopefully we're harder to match up on than some other teams because of our multi, uh, multi prong forward line there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you obviously pride yourselves on winning the contested footy, and, and your midfield has been fantastic. Jason was terrific again, best on ground on, on, the, on Saturday. So uh, that's something, obviously, that you've made a really big focus on. Yeah, Gilly is the same thing. It's, you know, it's finals footy now, the real stuff, and um, building the ball. The contested footy and that we've done very well. We pride ourselves on it, as you mentioned, and it's the same this weekend. Win the ball inside, and uh, we go from there. Yeah, very good for us. All right, good. Thank you. Cheers. So, Gilly, um, just looking back to that round 11 clash where you did get smacked by 62 points, do you take much out of that at all, or do you say, oh, look, you know, we had injury concerns at that time of the year, or, or what do you do? Do you, do you read anything well, into that at all? <coughs> yeah, look, we, we did have some injury concerns and some players out, but. You know, we're probably lucky to get within 62 points. I think halfway through the third quarter, it could have easily been a half point. So, um, 
what we take out of it is North City are a very good side and they're going to be very hard to beat. Mm-hmm. Were you taken by surprise that you bobbed up into uh, into this game, into second spot, um, given, really, given the way in which things have gone? I all year is to, to finish in the top two, um, get that double chance straight away. Um, you know, our last probably month, five weeks of footy has, has been okay and we've been getting better each week. Um, and, you know, we've had, had some good results in that time to allow us to finish in that position. How does the 2013 model of Renan stack up to the past decade where you've been such a successful unit? Um, look, I think the main difference this year for, for us has been um, that what Robbie just spoke about before is the young players taking that next step with their footy. Um, you know, the, we still have some very decorated senior players that have played in a number of premierships. But this year we've had, um, for example, last weekend we had 13 players playing our senior side that either last year played in a reserves premiership or an under-18s premiership. So um, that's been a focus for us from day one coming forward was we'd obviously had some talent in our reserves and under-18s over the last couple of years, but to really make sure that they could step up and be good senior footballs um, and senior footballs throughout the year and also in finals footy. So throughout the year they've, they've done really well and now it's just a, a matter to see whether they can you know, take it to that next level to make it count in finals. Knowing that North have got a number of stars that have emerged and we spoke about their potent forward line, do you focus a great deal on those guys or do you just try to go about it your own game? Uh, look, obviously you know, they do have some very good players but um, it's probably there's a lot of them, and if you try to focus on one or two, there's probably a chance to get another three or four will bob up. So, um, look, we, like any side does, I'm sure Rob has been doing it this week, and any other coaches, they, they definitely have a really close look at the opposition, see where they can potentially um, get the edge over them, and, and what they're going to need to do to you know to limit their their key players' impact. Um, but most of the work you do is is related to how you want to play yourself. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Yeah, you had probably a few selection headaches this week because you, you had a fair few senior players out last week. It was just regular ones players, probably four or five at least. They're probably all going to be, you'd think they're almost walk up starters. So there's going to be a fair, fair bit to consider in this one, isn't it? Yeah, look, there is. Um, you know, against Sunbury two weeks ago, we had uh, two players that didn't finish the game out. Uh, Grant Bell and David Horbury didn't play much, or Belly didn't play much of the second half, and Horbury didn't play after quarter time. So. Um, Belly will definitely play, um, and obviously Brendan Peace will come back, uh, Ash Barker will come back, and Lee Ryle, they're probably you know, at the other end of the, the age bracket, um, and that simply didn't play at the weekend, um, you know, they were pretty tight in the hammies, um, heavy ground at the City Oval wasn't going to help them, so definitely we've got some uh, selection headaches, like I said, those young fellas that have been in the senior side have been playing reasonably good footy, so it always makes it tough. Yeah, how important is it to bring them in for finals with the experience of playing grand finals, have played in finals before? How important is it to bring those guys back into the side? If, if it might have been a 50-50, say between them and the younger player, would you lean more towards the senior guys? Yeah, yeah, probably. Um, just, I think the main thing is their leadership on the ground that they'll give to potentially the other other players out there. Um, you know, Brendan Peace has been a, a two-time premiership coach. Ash Barker has played in. Know, five or six premiership sides. So what they give to the to the rest of the side is leadership on ground, on field instruction. Um, you know, and you can't you can't buy that. For, and so most definitely they they'll be coming into the side. And uh, I've done a bit of research, and you look at uh, all the other final sides. Their lowest scores this year have all been against North City. Yep. So obviously that means they're a very tough side to score against. How do you how do you hope to break that? Do you try and lock it down and just try and steal them in the lowest scoring game or? Um, look, oh, you're spot on, they have, like, you know, I think when we played them, we only had 10 scoring shots or something like that, and a lot of other sides have been the same throughout the year. Um, it's, I think, it, a little bit about trying to limit their scoring opportunities as well, um, and then, you know, when you get the footy, it, it, it's making sure that you do try and get it all the way to the other end of the ground to score. Um, it, it will be tough, because that's, you know, what they've been so good at over the last two or three years is, limiting the uh, scoring chances the opposition can have. So, um, you know, it's probably about playing fast footy when we can get the footy in and try and take it all the way to the other end of the field. And obviously, you presume Eastern Oval will help that. When you played at Sunbury a couple of weeks ago, you probably have many better games because it was great in Great Nick, Oval yep. Oval. Do you think that suits your game better, the, the dry running conditions rather than the heavy Oval? Uh, yeah, makes a difference, my word. Um, makes a difference when the ball bounces compared to sitting in mud. That's the main thing. Um, and, and 
like we did when we played the other week at Summary, we were all able to run on top of the ground. And those young players were able to use some of their speed. Um, you know, Jack Jess, Ben Schultz, they were all able to use their speed. So, um, yeah, we're really looking forward to getting on a, a fast step for footy again. And is there anyone who probably, we, probably won't come up? Any injury concerns? Uh, yeah, Dean Chester, he won't play. Yeah, he hurt his hamstring um, a couple of weeks ago. If you ask Dean, he'd want to play. Um, he, reckon he probably doesn't even know what hamstring he hurt. but. Uh, no, he won't play, and he'll probably be about the only one that, that um, you know, at this stage is already ruled out of playing this week. The other, there's probably two others that will probably have to get through some fitness work tomorrow night to make sure that they're right to go. Yeah. Do you reckon he'd play because of the elimination point? No, he wouldn't play. Like, he'd done his, tore his hamstring two, three weeks ago, and yeah, he wouldn't play. So, yeah. um, you know, he's jogged a couple laps at training and done some strides. Um, you know, a little bit of kicking the footy um, on Tuesday night, so I would think he would play next week. Um, but if this week was an elimination fight, um, no, he wouldn't be playing. But he's pretty much the only, uh, the only major name missing. Yeah, yeah, most likely, yeah. yeah. Thanks, guys. If you could also get a group of Shelby sitting there today. Um, just, can I just ask a couple of general questions just to get a bit of overlay? Ah. Uh. Sure.